Hi Leo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, Leo. Thank you God for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. So let's talk about love first. Let's see what's going on in terms of love for you, Leo. Let's see. What are the love messages for Leo? Six of Pentacles, the Page of Cups. So somebody could, the power dynamic, power dynamic with love. Maybe somebody is uh, is not expressing their emotions as much. Maybe even being emotionally, you know, um, immature, not knowing how to express their emotions. You could be dealing with a Piscean person with the Page of Cups here. Um, they're very dreamy. They're in love sometimes, or they give you a little bit of affection. The six of pentacles, they leave you wanting more. Um, the power dynamic is off. Like one person is in power and the other person is just feeling powerless or feeling like they're waiting for, they're always seeking the other person's approval or affection or attention here. It says that maybe with the page of cups there, it needs to be romantic, more romantic in the connection or somebody needs to be more romantic it needs to be more romance it's not a lot of romance it's just more so um wham bam thank you ma'am i don't know it's it's you know it's just get it done or or i don't know leo it just seems as if there's a there's an imbalance or somebody's trying to get more balance in emotions or balance their emotions more harmonious emotionally Maybe you and your person are not connecting, you know, on the same frequency right now, on the same emotions. Um, there's a giver and then there's a taker. There's somebody who's giving, and there's someone who's taking. Somebody feels like, um, shoot, somebody feels like they're on top and the other person is on bottom. I'm not even getting into that. Um, Somebody also is in need. Maybe you were helping this person out, especially if they have a child or children, or they feel like they were helping you out or they're going to help you out, or that's the dream that they tried to sell you, that they were going to give you money, or they could be of value or of use to you, that they have more than you. Something about the, you know, them feeling like they have more, more power than you. There's a lot of isolation or, you know, yeah, isolation. Maybe this person isolates you from other aspects of their life or they don't allow you to go or to come with them. Um, maybe you feel like you and your person are not on the same wavelength when it comes to um, <clears throat> futuristic thinking, like what the future looks like. We got the full card showing up. This could be same sex connection. It says that the relationship is real fragile right now, you know, and any little thing can really break this thing down, can really, you know, uh, combust, make the relationship be over. The Eight of Swords and the Four of Swords. Somebody keeps the other person wrapped up in their mind, wrapped up in their head, thinking negatively, feeling like they, you know, they have to wait on the other person or wait for the other person or, the other person has the lead and they're the follower, you know, there's suspicion of infidelity here. And it says that maybe you need to even take a break, just take a break from one another. All right. So let's see what's going on for you in career and finance. Leo could be dealing with an air sign. Also, someone took a break from you because there was, yeah, somebody completely divorced or separated from someone because the, <clears throat> of the infidelity here. Someone is going to do that. Or someone took a break from being an infidel because the uh, their spouse caught wind of it. So they had to take a break from that also. Interesting. All right. So let's see what's going on. What's going on for career and finance for Leo? Career and finance. Very nice. King of Wands, King of Pentacles. So you're making things happen in your career, in your finance. You also have a yes answer here. Maybe unexpected money. Um, 
you, you're doing something systematically. You're putting something out there systematically with the queen of wands. The, yeah, the queen of wands showing up. So, um, unexpected money, a windfall or a large sum of money, a yes answer here in your career and your finance. And then you also have, if you have your own business, do expect an influx of, you know, clients or business or, um, yeah, do expect an influx of, um, more business, more clientele. It says be practical and take a systematic approach to whatever it is you're trying to bring into fruition here. You have the idea, you have the vision, and now it's about execution. It's about doing it. This also is about life purpose. It's like, you know, that you should be doing something else or you have a desire to do something else. You need to look at something from a different perspective here. Maybe somebody's giving you a level of insight too. Maybe being in some relationship, it could be karmic. So it's showing you about you, what you need to do for you, how you need to put you first. See the King of Pentacles, he didn't get to the King of Pentacles because, you know, he put everybody else first or he let other people take care of him or her. Um, he, he more so took control, took the reins of his life. It says in the King of Pentacles, this person is abundant, uh, has a lot of money, has, um, business has, um, you know, makes money and, and good decisions with money because, um, just, it, it was a long time coming. And also it said that the King of Pentacles is the King of Pentacles by his own hand, by his own doing. So nobody gave him anything. Nobody gave him a leg up. There is no influx of money. And then he took the money and invested it. This was by his own doing. So the cards may want you to look at something from a different perspective. Yes, you have dreams. You might be a little too dreamy right now and you need to take some action. And you're going to have to do something for a long period of time. The pentacles talks about, you know, um, years, you know, you might need to do something for an extended amount of time to gain that work ethic, to build it up. The eight of pentacles talks about, um, this is the entrepreneur. This is the budding entrepreneur. No, this is the entrepreneur. This is when you have to make your business work by you showing up each and every day. This is when you're, you're an owner and you're an employee. This is something doing something day in and day out, knowing that it will pay off in the long run. You'll have your time in the sun, but it's not right now until you prove to yourself and the universe that you can be consistent prudent with your money and that you can be on that autopilot of wash, rinse, repeat over again, wash, rinse, repeat over again, you know, and that's how you get your business to a self-sustaining energy. So that was for somebody. This is what I have for you, Leo. If it resonates for you, go over to the website book there, ask a question or two by um, texting your question to the number below. You can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9 30 PM Eastern standard time. You can come for the collective reading and then you can ask questions. Thank you, Leo. Many blessings to you. Oh, sorry. We have the new moon money jar. So today is the new moon. Uh, we have this money jar so that we can manifest corporately more money, more business, um, more, opportunity in our career, but it's about a uh, career in finance. So if you have uh, dreams, hopes, wishes, if you're trying to bring something into fruition, you can donate to the money jar. You can contribute any amount of money to the money jar and your name will be placed in the money jar and we'll do the new moon prayer uh, for abundance uh, tonight and the next three nights. So um, if you want to take advantage of that, the link is below. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.